if you own an RV with a bed with some storage underneath and you're having trouble keeping that lid open, today we're going to do an install of some struts and some brackets I made. All these parts are available on the internet. I shop on Amazon. I'll show you exactly the pages I use for that. So stay tuned and let's see how it goes. We're going to be doing this without instructions. This package of strut ball studs at 10 millimeter can be purchased on Amazon for $12.99. These 20 inch gas struts are rated for an 80 pound lift. They sell on Amazon for $21.99. Another option you can consider is a hatch light product. They come in different sizes for your RV. They're all priced at $60. You can go on their website to get install instructions. So this is their website. You can see based upon your bed platform and where your hinge is, You'll have some good information on how to install it. So it'll come with all of your brackets and screws. But it's probably about twice as much if you just want to buy the parts individually like I did. Uh, the first thing you want to be aware of is that the gas strut area where the spring is at get attached to this block. And that'll be pointed up. So I've got my lid raised to a height of 24 inches. And I'm going to test fit this right now with bracket down here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this right now and figuring out where my strut should be because I want my strut vertical. When it closes, I don't want it to hit along this rail. So I think we'll mark that and give that a test fit. If it is too tight to close, I can always move this bracket back and change the angle. First thing I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole for this diameter, followed by a smaller diameter for the threads. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this is parallel with this and what I have done is look down at the end the edge of the board is about three quarters of an inch in then it's about another three quarters to the edge of the plywood and I have a square set up so that I can check that looks pretty good there so I'll mark it and we'll screw that in place temporarily can now temporarily install this where I've marked it. I'll take these dimensions, mark them on the other side, and install that side. I'm going to add some reinforcing here just because the screws are kind of close to the bottom of the 2x4. And we'll let this set up and dry for a little bit before we try to do any more screwing on this side. 
So it is several days later and a little bit of trial and error later. And here's what I discovered. The original struts I had that were rated at 80 pounds a piece were much too strong for me to close the lid. So I had to order a pair of 20 inch long 40 pound struts. And I had to reposition my pivot points a few times. This pivot point got moved back. And so right now that pivot point is almost four and a half inches back to this. And the pivot point here is 17 inches. So that gives me an opening of 24 inches. I have a two inch foam mattress that goes on top of here yet but you can see that close and there's not too much spring tension on here that would cause this to vibrate up and down while I'm traveling so overall it's a success I hope uh, my dimensions and my trial and errors uh, will help you a little bit, maybe avoid some of the mistakes I made. So thanks again for tuning in to one of my videos. If you like it, please hit the like button. And if you care to, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Be well, take care till we see you again.